Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to consolidate rows in Excel. Excel is a spreadsheet application that lends itself to creating lists and databases. When combining data from multiple sources, you will frequently encounter rows that have duplicate values. So let's look at this example. In this example, I've consolidated data for multiple years, and when I look at it, I see that the unit is common. And for each unit, for each year, I have different expenditure. Now, I may want to consolidate these rows according to the unit and summarize the expenditure. In this case, I want to add it all up. So there are two ways of doing this. The first is to create a pivot table. So for this, I first select the data, I don't want to include year, I'm including only unit and expenditure. Then say insert and say uh, expand the pivot table menu and say from table or range. I then will specify where I want it. In this case, I want it on a new worksheet and I'll say OK. So Excel inserts a blank pivot table and on the right, the field list for the pivot table opens. And in this, there are two values, the unit and expenditure, since these were the only columns I selected. So I want the unit to come as rows. So I will drag this down and put it into the rows. And now I want the uh, table to be summarized according to expenditure. So that I will put as the values. So automatically Excel inserts uh, sum, and this is what I want, so I leave it as it is. So as you can see in the pivot table, wherever the uh, unit name is common, the values for expenditure have been summed. So in the pivot table, I get a list of unique values per unit and the sum of expenditure displayed. So this is one way of doing it. Now, the second way is to use the consolidation tool of Excel. So to do that, I'll first go to a new sheet because I want the summary to be displayed here. Then on the data menu, go to the consolidate tool. Now, when I click this, I get a dialog box. First, I select the function. Again, I want the sum to be, uh, I want the expenditure to be added or summed up. Now, I specify the reference. For that, I go to the data sheet and select the unit and expenditure again. And then say add, because these are the references. These are what I want consolidated. Now, it's important that I specify to use labels in the top row and in the left column, because the top column gives you the uh, field on which the data is to be aggregated. And then I say OK. And again, I get a similar result here, where I have the, again, the unique values for the unit specified and a sum of the expenditure. So you can choose either of these methods to consolidate the rows depending on what the business requirement is. This is how to consolidate rows in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.